Vianna Jones, she's the one defense attorneys say hit Officer Weekly's gun during a raid, causing him to fire it and kill little seven-year-old Ayana. But her emotional outburst today caused the judge to halt the trial. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash joins us live in the newsroom today with the latest. Anu? Well, Jeff, it was testimony that was really tough to listen to. This grandmother says Officer Weekly fired instantly the moment he entered that house. I'm laying there screaming, asking somebody to help my granddaughter because he just shot her in the head. And he wouldn't need to help her. They turned on the light and seen that she had been shot and killed out the house. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. A highly emotional Mertilla Jones wails on the witness stand this afternoon during the retrial of Detroit police officer Joseph Weekly. He's accused of involuntary manslaughter and the death of Jones's seven-year-old granddaughter, Ayana. It happened in May of 2010 during a raid on a Detroit home as police were searching for a murder suspect. Jones says she was on one end of the couch and Ayana was sleeping on the other end of the couch closest to the front door when Weekly entered first and instantly fired his gun, hitting Ayana in the head, killing her. Why you do it? Please tell me why you come in my house like that. Weekly's defense has been that Jones lunged at him and hit his gun, causing him to accidentally pull the trigger. Listen as she defended herself and lashed out at Officer Weekly. You killed my grandbaby. You killed her and you try to blame me. You know I never touched you, Mr. Weekly. You know I never touched you. You know you wrong. She was only seven years old. She was only a baby, man. She was sleeping. Weekly sat stone-faced, and within moments of that outburst, Jones was escorted off the witness stand. On her way out of the courtroom, she continued to shout at Weekly. I get no sleep. The flashbacks. I wouldn't wish them on nobody in the world. Not even you. It was so intense in that courtroom. Now, after that, the judge reminded the jury that they are not to decide this case based on sympathy or emotion. Now, because of what happened today, she said they will resume the trial on Monday in hopes of giving them all time to soothe some of those emotions. Like